Now, the recent heavy rain has also had a lot of San Diegans dealing with leaky roofs. And while it might seem like the rain is the problem, experts say the leak was probably there for a while, but it took that heavy downpour to bring it to light. Our Misha DeBono is live in University Heights, where roofing companies say they were busier than average during the storm. Misha. Yeah, hi, Maria. They certainly were very busy this week, many of them describing their work as triage over the weekend, just trying to stop the water by using tarps. A lot of those tarps now have been removed as they assess the damage. But one roofer that we talked to said typically during a storm, they'll get about three emergency calls. This weekend, they got 21. As San Diego starts to dry out from the storm, homeowners are left assessing the damage. Month and a half out before we can get to a new one. For companies like Resilient Roofing, it's been a busy two weeks. We stocked up, I think right here was the bay where we had a whole pallet of tarps. We buy them by the pallet. Their Miramar warehouse is practically bare. All their supplies, tarps in particular, in use as they deal with an onslaught of emergency calls following the recent storm that dropped several inches across the county. During a normal rainstorm, we'll have two or three, what we call emergency tarp jobs. This weekend alone, we had 21. Seth Larson is the owner. He says they spent most of the weekend in triage, meaning just trying to stop the water from doing any more damage as dozens of homeowners were dealing with leaky roofs. But he says the rain doesn't actually cause the leak. Rather, it more likely brings to light what was already there. The real issue is the lack of rain that we have. It sounds crazy to say right now, but San Diego can go two years without getting any rain. And then all of a sudden we have a rain and exposes everybody's leaks. Once a leak starts, there's really not much to be done until the rain dries out and a professional can assess the damage. But before that, there are steps you can take to try and prevent leaks in the first place. Keep in mind, on average in San Diego, roofs last about 20 years. Common maintenance prevents most problems. So getting up there, clearing debris out of the valleys, which is where the two roofs come together, clearing your gutters out. Andy says you'll want to invest in gutters to keep the water away from the foundation which can also wreak havoc. Oftentimes your roof could be leaking and you just don't know it because it's stuck up in the attic. When the water makes it all the way through those layers inside the house, that's when you know that you have a problem, but it's already pretty bad and it should have been fixed a little while ago. Yeah, he went on to say usually by that point it's a little too late. For more tips on what you can do, just head to our website, fox5sandiego.com.